Our next guest is originally from Canada as well, and she now lives in L.A. Please welcome Elvira Kirk, ladies and gentlemen, to the stage. Thank you. It's great to be here. I always love coming back to Canada. You know the way the old saying goes, home is where the health care is. <laughs> do you take it for granted? I know I do. I've been living in Los Angeles almost a year, and I still haven't gotten any American health insurance. Like some part of me is thinking that in case I do get into a medical emergency, I'll make it home in time. <laughs> Hi, I'm checking in for Air Canada Flight 798 to Montreal. Carry on. <laughs> Just my pancreas. <laughs> Everything you've heard about L.A. is true. It is so weird to be there, you know? But thankfully, I feel very grounded, you know? And I don't think I've really changed too much. Although, I thought I'd just take a few minutes right now and tell you a little bit about Jesus. <laughs> Isn't that scary? Lock the doors. Nobody's leaving till you're all saved. If someone wants to be saved, great. See me later. It's true, though. Americans are strange, huh? Very self-absorbed. Do you find that about Americans? I found that we know more about Americans than they know about anything. <laughs> oh, great. It's not just man. I mean, look at what they've given the world, huh? Las Vegas. It's a celebration of self-indulgence, huh? Anything you want to do to yourself there, you can do it. You want a steak at 3 o'clock in the morning in Vegas, there's a 16-course buffet. Go crazy! You want alcohol at 9 a.m., they'll bring a tray of drinks right to your table. You can smoke anywhere you want. Cigarettes, cigars, pipes, hell, you can shit on the carpet. Just don't stop gambling! <laughs> of course, only America would think of making Las Vegas a family place. <laughs> Every one of these hotels is setting up a little arcade area for the kids. Lots of fun for the kids. It's like one bonus game away from Lord of the Flies down there. <laughs> little kids in tattered clothes running around with $100 and quarters jammed in their pockets. A sticker with the flight departure time stuck to their t-shirts. <laughs> After three days, they're they're running up to you. Are you my daddy? <laughs> I don't know why my parents are so worried about my safety in L.A. When you think about what my generation has lived through, I'm surprised there are so many of us left. <laughs> Not like the way we're mollycoddling this generation of kids growing up, huh? Look at what we lived through. You think about this. Today, no one would even dream of inventing a lawn dart. <laughs> right? But this was perfectly acceptable when we were kids. Hey, what should we do with this six-inch pointy razor-sharp shaft coming out of this piece of plastic? Why, let's have the kids heave them at each other. <laughs> What if they lose an eye? Hell, they've got to let them play! <laughs> and I read this, baby cribs. Baby cribs built before 1975, they're being recalled. Apparently the little heads can fit perfectly between the slats. <laughs> and then get stuck and maybe twist and snap, just like so. Which is great, yes, by all means, recall the killer cribs, but hey! Weren't those our cribs? <laughs> How come our parents didn't call the crib manufacturers, huh? What was that scenario like? Oh, for God's sakes, is your little head stuck again? Get it in there! Get it back in there! Now you lie still and play with your lawn dart mobile. You want to know, 
You want proof of how badly we're spoiling this next group? You stroll past the playground of today, you'll see what I'm talking about. Everything's low to the ground. Uh, little gravel bits to break the fall. Everything, all the sharp edges have tire pieces to cushion. Everything's made out of molded plastic that's round and low to the ground. Not like the instruments of torture we grew up with, huh? Steel beams embedded into cement. Eight-foot-high monkey bars on concrete. What was the thinking there? Oh, their little heads are soft, they'll bounce. We had things in our playground that you could actually convince your little friends to kill themselves on. The swings were perfect for this. Go higher! Go higher! Jump! The teeter-totter, huh? With the right weight differential. This was the perfect catapult into traffic. Add another kid, aim for the highway! It was pretty much the chunky kid's revenge, wasn't it? You want to get off? Okay. Still, I miss being a kid, don't you? Kids get away with murder. All that great behavior that gets socialized out of us, that's what I really miss, huh? When you were a kid, you didn't think anything of having a temper tantrum, huh? Walking behind your mother, I don't want to. Who wouldn't want to do that on a Monday morning, huh? Walking out of the house, I don't want to go to work. <laughs> don't even let up once you're there at the office. Hey, you're not the boss of me. When you were a kid, you didn't worry about what you said. Whatever came out of your mouth, you said it. You didn't care what it sounded like, the way we do as adults now. Do I, am, I, am I mixing my messages? What am, I, what am I really meaning? You just said what you felt like when you were a kid, huh? It's time for you to go to bed. No! No, 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 no! Again, this is completely wasted on children. Wouldn't it come way more handy today? I'm sorry, the bank cannot cash your check without proper ID. You're going to have to come back tomorrow. No! No, no, 